All right, news leaning on the ground. I have something clear to say to you. Um, I know you have an attachment to me, like Satan does, and God has an attachment to me, like um, a loving person does. But I don't know. I know you're not gonna like this, but you have to understand that you're not the one that is in unbelief, in my opinion, unless you do not accept God's word that he saved you. If you do not accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you do not accept his free gift of salvation, then you're not saved. But there's one problem to, that I can see right now, that you, um, well, you're stuck in your sin, you're really doing all these kind of sinful things, cursing and all that, and maybe drinking, and maybe doing other things. This is hard. My heart is heavy for you, and bad things are going to happen if I don't warn you about this, so please, this is not for salvation, but please just do not get yourself involved with sin anymore. Just find a way that will help you not be so blatant and all the other things that are not, you know, kind and all that. This is what Jesus wants us to be, and he wants us to be like him. And do you think that cursing people out and calling people false and calling someone's Holy Spirit scary and all these horrible things, do you think that's Jesus? Let me tell you what Jesus is, um, so we can understand what's going on here. For God so loved the world so much, that he gave his only one and only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And God died for everyone. You think, well, that's, that's, that's beautiful, right? But to be like God, is to care about people's soul so much, that you'll do anything for them. It's to be kind. And did you know that Jesus is love? And his love is, like, holy, you know? So this is what Jesus' love is all about. And the fruit of the Spirit is, and this is Jesus, the Spirit of God, the Spirit, is Jesus, his, and Jesus' body is the same as the Spirit, and Spirit is the same as the Father, but they're all three different entities, and we're the same with us. So the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, um, gentleness, kindness, uh, patience, goodness, faithfulness, and self-control. I'm not saying this to you to make you a bad person, but I don't want you to die because you think, well, I'm going to go to die. I'm going to die and go to heaven because I'm going to heaven for no apparent reason. I, that's... How do I describe this? It's like, you want to go to heaven so much, that's good. But did you accept Jesus' free gift of salvation? Did you accept his free gift? You accept that Jesus was going to give you the gift. Maybe you're on to death. Maybe you're just one of the, um, you know, seeds that fell in the, the rocky path. I don't know. But, I don't know. What is the fruit? So this is, the seed is basically that produces fruit. And you're thinking, well, what is the rocky path? It produces no fruit. Excuse me. And then there's a see that falls into, let's say, a stony, uh, stony soil. So, what does the stony soil produce? One, one fold. Then the thorny fold, the thorny seed, uh, the seed that goes in the thorns, produces the fruit. One fold. Then there's the seed that falls into, well, the, the soil that is perfect, fertile, that goes up to 30, 60, 100 fold. I know this isn't like it, I, I don't know. Again, I don't want to die because I didn't warn you about you know, condemnation in hell or something like that. Or that I didn't tell you to stop sinning. Because I want to warn you because I don't want you to go there. And my warning is find Jesus. And don't sin quite as much, just be loving. That's all. 
that's all I want you to be is be loving. Don't be loving to the point where you love no one else, but people and God and not animals. I don't mean to do that. But find that love, find that fertile soil, and maybe there shall be no death. And yes, uh, you did mention death from cancer. Maybe that's God's warning you that you should probably get away from your sin. It's, it seems early, but, you know, God's warning you that you should stay away from your evil doings and hatefulness and all that. And maybe, if you don't, um, I mean, again, if you don't take this, um, if you take this lightly, if you don't care, well, of course, I don't know where you're going to go. However, if you are more loving, if you don't mock, well, let's say not mock. If you if you do, if you're more loving, if you say that if you love people, because I, I understand that everyone understands what love is, but maybe you don't understand what love is. Maybe your heart has been hardened. I don't know. However, why are you dying? That's a I know that's a cruel question, but why are you? Again, God is giving you a warning to just love people more. Don't curse at people, that's hate. I know you're gonna be like, oh, I, but true salvation is not nice, he's, ugh, no. Please. Why would people just, I don't, I, again, I don't want you to perish, I want you to be suffering. I know that you don't think you're gonna suffer, but a lot of people think that way and not exactly like you, but everyone's different. But if people think that they're saved, but they're not saved, then they suffer. It's horrible. I felt something bad whenever you said, oh, I'm gonna die soon. I felt something really bad. And I have a really bad feeling that maybe it's judgment coming t towards you, and I don't, I don't know. So, th so um, the, news, news, the news unit underground, Please, I'm begging you. All you have to do is accept that free gift of salvation. And that salvation is Jesus died on the cross for all of our sins. He did it lovingly. In his most loving way possible. He get he got rid of our sins. Do you understand that Jesus got rid of our sins and that you don't want to be part of sin? Or do you just not care? I know a person that is oh, a terror stands straight up. And we bow down. The tears are got, the tears are basically taken up with a um, you know, like a you know basically with a you know what is it called? <sighs> you know what the Green Reaper holds. He he holds a um, he holds a um, let me look it up. So you know that um, the Grim Reaper holds that. Um, let me look it up. It's basically something that collects the, the tares from the wheat. Just looking to map. <sighs> okay, okay. I'm sorry. Oh, six. I'm sorry. Went away. That's basically um, not scales, but a um, some sort of device. It's it's basically what you what you um, try to um, when you collect the tares. It's uh, above the wheat, 
It has like little um, ridges on it. I think it's, I don't know if it's ridges or what. But some sort of blade that they, basically they, um, they pull the tears out of the ground with a special device that's not, I don't think it's a blade or maybe something it is, I don't know. But it carries, it carries the, um, the chaff out of the ground, the, the tears. So basically, and another way they get the uh, wheat from the chairs is basically they uh, sift it. And basically, the chairs fly away because they think they're better. And the wheat stays in that net. It's better that we get the wheat because it's, it's sifted. It's much safer. And you know, the tares are always pointing straight up and the wheat is always bowing down because the wheat doesn't, it's, it's humble. The tares think they're better than everyone else. And you know, the tares don't love, but the wheat loves everyone. They care about everyone. And why do you care so much? Well, it's, it's like, you think you can sin so much, but in my opinion, that's going to lead to death one day. And that's God's warning. And you know, if you die because of your sin, let people warn you that this is what's going to happen to you. If at least one, if no, if at least no one warns you, then let their let them die too. That may be Old Testament. You may think, oh, that's just Old Testament. But everyone has to warn someone around them that is, you know, doing w wicked deeds and doing horrible things. If they don't warn, if they don't warn them directly, if they don't warn them any way possible. They're not going to hell, but they will die. Because it's not a salvational issue for us, but it could be a salvational issue for you. And I don't want you to, you know, perish. I know you, I know you just already don't like this, you already just hate this. But please, the, you know, the news unit, you know, I know. You're just willing to make a video against me, but. What is love when you don't warn anyone about sin? What is love when you don't tell anyone about salvation? Salvation is just by, you know, choosing Jesus. Choosing, it's, it's accepting his free gift of salvation. It's accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior. It's all that. It's really just, you know, a choice that you make to accept that free gift. It's only by believing that you're saved. And, well, it's obvious that people that have no fruit in them, well, they don't have love, and they don't have any of the other fruits of love, which is joy, peace, kindness, gentleness, goodness, faithfulness, patience, and self-control. And self-control is one major thing that you have that is a problem. A lot of people see it and you don't see it. Not everyone sees it, but a lot of people around you see it. And you may have gone, you may have, you know, wormed your way into a person's sight saying, oh, I have cancer, I'm going to die soon, and made them feel bad for you. But on the other hand, that's just a, um, that's just a, um, well, That's just a symptom of you're sinning too much. It's not salvational, but it's, well, a symptom of you should love more. Maybe you should be in your final days loving, not partying and going to heaven. Because maybe you're wrong. Maybe heaven wasn't meant for you. But maybe you were right. And you got, you went to heaven. Maybe God was just saying, I love you so much that I, even a sinner like you can go to heaven. Even if you just believe in me. 
But it's like all the things are burned up. And the rewards are very few. It's love that it's really love and the things that you do for God that gives you rewards. It's not the preaching, it's not the wor the words you say. It's what you how you feel towards God and how much of a relationship you have with God. If you claim to have that, then well, examine that. Because who knows what the relationship really 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 is like? Because God is love. Look at the fruits of the Spirit online. Look at John 3.16. Boy, still living today, okay? I'll be there now, okay?